you know, it's still warm here, um, so that means somebody is mowing the lawn, then we have a thousand birds. I just have to close the window, but I will die. So we're starting this look barefaced because as you've seen from the title, we are doing another brand review. And initially I wanted to wait for this specific review because um, House Labs is coming out with a concealer in four weeks, three weeks or so. But I already had everything prepared, so let's make this in honor of the upcoming launch. And let me tell you, I will so buy this concealer. I don't care about the no-buy. So I do have everything House Labs related in front of me and even a product that I haven't tried yet, so this is going to be a first time in this video. Since at the product range there is no primer and no concealer, or yet no concealer, um, I already primed the face. I used the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched face base and my NARS part conceal thing and now we're going into this beauty. Oh no, I forgot something. Wait a second. I can't do my makeup without any glowy shit underneath so let me just apply the Say, um, I always forget the name, the Say Glowy Super Gel in the shade Star Glow. It just changes my makeup every single time but not like the texture, it's all just um, for the better. And you might see that I'm not wearing an eye look today because when we are done with this video, I will be filming a brand review. No, this is the brand review. I will be filming a first impression, filming two looks with the Glaminatic, Gl <laughs> Glaminatrix Sugar and Spice Palette. So while I'll apply these, let me tell you just something about the brand House Labs. And I have to say that I, this time, found something. Like, remember the iconic London video? That was not a lot. But this time I have this page, this, and this page. So there is a lot to go through. Um, and you know what's the best about this? It's all positive. Like, there is literally nothing bad to say and no drama, nothing bad behind the brand. So let's just start. And I do have to read some of them off, like I will not memorize every single thing that I found somewhere while researching for the brands like History or whatever. But before we get into the hard facts, um, I want to use the first House Labs item, and that is the House Labs foundation brush. I have never used House Labs brushes, to be honest. I was not even fully aware of the fact that, that they also have brushes. But when I placed my order a while back, where I got the lip crayons and um, <laughs> another blush and two highlighters, um, I thought, okay, let's just snag this brush too, and it immediately rubbed off the concealer, but that's that's okay. But why is that okay? Because um, it is like a wet surface, because I, I'm a constant skin picker, and I like to remove the dry skin that just is on top of those spots, so that's completely my fault. So the brand House Labs by Lady Gaga was basically founded as House Labs or House Laboratories as a vegan brand, cruelty-free, you know, all that shit by Lady Gaga in September 2019. So it basically has been only four years with the brand on the market and they are so, so successful with that. If you remember that first launch, they launched on Amazon and when I researched, let me, sh let me tell you what countries they launched in. France, Germany, Japan, United Kingdom, and the United States. No, I'm confused because I remember that I saw videos on the Lady Gaga brand and that I wanted to try things from that brand and that it was an Amazon exclusive and I was not able to shop it in Germany. I don't know where they got that info from or if that was kind of delayed or it was available only for a day, but definitely not. I was not able to shop that from Amazon. 
So I'm now going finally in with the uh, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation, that's a long name, and I'm in the shade 040, Fair Neutral. The foundation itself, by the way, comes in 51 shades. So that is, I think, the biggest shade range we have in the makeup industry. Correct me if I'm wrong if there is a brand that has a bigger shade range, but I think um, there is nothing that can beat that. And now let's see how this is going to be blended in with the specific brush designed for that foundation. <laughs> oh boy! Why haven't I tried this brush earlier? Oh my god! I don't even need to go on top of it with a blender, with a beauty blender sponge thing to smooth out because this brush is already smoothing the shit out of my face. They will launch the matching Triclone Skin Tech Concealer, as I said, on September 7th. And I don't know if the brush is already available, but I saw on the website that they will have a foundation, um, uh, a concealer brush with that too. The House Labs foundation nearly made it to my top three. Um, that was not, th there was just not a lot missing, but the other three foundations were just a hinge better. But if I had to rank all my foundation, House Labs would be the fourth place. I always go on top of it with a sponge, so I will do here too. Did you know that House Laboratories was originally um, founded as a perfume brand? And they originally were under the umbrella of Coty. If you don't know who they are, Coty is like one of those... I don't know if brand incubators is correct, but they, they basically own a lot of brands and they are the big mother company behind a lot of brands and it used to be house laboratories too. Under that umbrella they also released two perfumes. One was The Fame in 2012 and one was Oh The Gaga in 2014. I love the way this looks, it's awesome. In February 2018 Lady Gaga actually filed on trademarks for House Beauty and House Labs so there was something coming, like it was obvious that there is something in the making within her brand or in her like brand's name and the whole spectrum. And do you remember that? In 2011, like even before House Laboratories was even founded, Lady Gaga had a collaboration with MAC Cosmetics and she was part of the Viva Glam line. If you know, if you, if you actually don't know what Viva Glam is, this is basically um, celebrities collaborating with MAC and usually the sales from those lipsticks go to a specific found or something. A lot of people were confused why Lady Gaga was launching this brand, House Laboratories, on Amazon. And not like as individually via her just website or not with a retailer. There's a very simple reason for that because, and again, I have to read that off, Lady Gaga stated in an interview um, to the Business of Fashion that the partnership with Amazon was made because only they would allow her to commercialize a brand with these principles saying, no message of self-acceptance, no deal. So if you just kind of know who Lady Gaga is, which I hope you do, but she is very supportive and promoting and she's like the face of self-confidence, of embracing who you are, of accepting everybody, no matter how they look, how they are, who they are, where they are, why they are, and to where they are. This message is something that just goes throughout the whole brand and even throughout the charity that she does that we are going to talk about at the end of the video. And I think it is quite interesting that there was no other partner who would accept these principles, as she says. I am personally a bit missing cream products in the line, so like a cream bronzer, cream blusher, so I think that would um, completely go through the roof if she would release cream stuff like that, so I hope that will be here sometime soon. So I'm using the Rare Beauty bronzer stick, cream bronzing stick in, I think it's Bright Side. Yeah, Bright Side, because Happy Soul I recently decluttered. You know, a lot of... Oh, <laughs> that was a bit much. Um, 
You know, a lot of the times with celebrity brands, they usually just give their name and face to a brand. But this time with House Laboratories, there is, there is Lady Gaga behind everything. She even was the one who assembled the whole team that is now in charge of the brand and that is doing stuff that she apparently shouldn't do because she has other things to do, like marketing and like bossing around. And for example, there are, that is just quote, veterans of milk makeup and benefit cosmetics. Like that is very interesting. And Lady Gaga's makeup artist, Sarah Tano, who is the brand global artistry director. I love that. Like basically she took her makeup artist, the one she trusts with the makeup, and made her the global art director because she just knew that no matter what it is, Sarah will do whatever it takes to make this brand beautiful and to turn Lady Gaga's vision into something great. But there are also um, a guy called Ben Jones, who's the former executive of Honest Company in Zynga. I don't know if you know Zynga, but a lot of mobile games go under that name. Um, and she also has secured backing from Lightspeed Venture Partners as investor in companies including Goop and Stitch Fix. I don't know what Stitch Fix is, but I know Goop. I want to read you a quote from the house party. That was the launch party that Lady Gaga had um, on September 16, 2019 in Santa Monica. And she said, we're not just launching makeup. This is a glamour attack on the world to be accepting, humble, brave, and above all, empowered to be kind. No matter how you identify, all are welcome at house laboratories. That literally gave me goosebumps. <laughs> oh. You know, I myself, I'm not a fan of Lady Gaga music. Like, I, we can be honest here. It's just not my kind of music. But that does not matter. Because I, I love the person Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga as a person, everything th she just says, she does in media, she... She is controversial sometimes, like, remember the meat dress? Like, I found that actually hilarious, but I know that a lot of you were really pissed off because of that. Um, but other than that, she is always just trying to embrace diversity and trying to just make people's life a bit better by not judging things and that is, in my opinion, something that a lot of people are missing, that is missing in companies, that is missing just in the whole how we work together as persons. So from 2019 to 2022, the brand was exclusive at Amazon Prime. And then there was, I, I remember that there was a lot of speculation because all of a sudden the brand disappeared. Like all of a sudden it was not available on Amazon anymore and people were a bit confused about that, but then there was the rebranding. So according to the brand, um, they removed 2,700 of dirty ingredients, like whatever dirty means, it was no specific ingredient <laughs> list that they removed. And they just came back with better and approved formulas. She also kind of renewed the um, like CEO things, like there was a new vice president that she basically announced and named. And to be honest, whatever she did with that rebrand, whatever the initial goal of the rebrand was, she did everything correct. Because I myself started to really um, seriously look into House Labs just after the rebrand. But the thing is, even before the rebrand, in 2020, House Labs was named the third best-selling celebrity makeup brand. They were just behind Fenty Beauty and Kylie Cosmetics. Like, just imagine that. That was in between the span of a year. Like, she launched end of 2019, and in 2020, she already got announced as third best-selling celebrity brand. Like, that, that is a statement to the world. 
So before the rebrand, there were just a lot of different things. Like she had six kits that she sold that were that had three products in there, like a shimmer pigment, lip liner, and lip gloss. Um, she also had eyeshadow palettes. One was called the Stupid Love Palette with 18 shades. And then there was later on the Love for Sale eyeshadow palette that also had 18 shades. And um, I remember that a lot of the stuff that she had in that line was not really popular. Like the reviews on YouTube were not that good. But when the rebrand came, she added the complexion products. For example, she added the Triclone, uh, Triclone Skin Foundation, yeah, Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. She also added um, the powder, and that is the next thing that we are going to use. This is the Triclone, no, it's a Triclone. This is the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder, and I use the shade Translucent. I do still remember that when I looked really into the whole House Labs brand and I started to actively search for reviews that the powder had not so many great reviews. A lot of people did not see the purpose and did not see anything like changing or doing with their face. Personally, I like the powder. I have nothing bad to say about it. The only thing that really just annoys me is the small mat. That is just too small and it kind of does not work. So let me just um, pull this out. You can even see this, like a lot of the product has just stuck to the sides and you cannot use it properly. So free the powders. And now I can also go in with a powder puff. Yes, I recently turned into a puff girl. <laughs> Again, I personally like this powder a lot. This is not like one of my favorites or so. Like if I had to do a full face of makeup of the best of the best of the best, this was probably not in there, but it is a solid good powder. What to me is a bit confusing that this is called translucent powder, but you can tell on camera that this is literally yellow. Um, like there is not a real translucency in my opinion, this is a very yellow based powder, but you know, you don't apply it in a thick layer. You just dust it on and then it's fine. The upcoming concealer, by the way, is going to have 31 shades and I think that's a fucking lot. I'm pretty sure only Natasha Denona has more shades. I think in her new High Glam concealer there are around 50 shades to, to shade from. Like 50 shades of Natasha Denona. I love that. Let's now use a product that I haven't used yet. This is the Edge Precision Brow Pencil from House Labs and I, of course, um, chose the shade Taupe and, let me read that off to you, this brow pencil was awarded as Best Brow Pencil in the category of Best Eye Makeup Products of 2021 by Allure Reader's Choice Awards. Even though I don't think that the Reader's Choice Awards or any Allure Award is like really something you should rely on, but I like the thought of it. So this is what it looks like. It's basically a double ended brow pencil and all I now can hope is that this does not reflect the color that is in there because this is green. We just comb through the brows and now apply the pencil. I should have swatched this on my hand, but you know, it's a Saturday. We're risky today. Okay. I am amazed. This is really good. I love it. I really do enjoy this pencil. It is absolutely gorgeous. It goes on super easy. Is this going to beat the Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Wiz? The only pro to go for Anastasia Beverly Hills instead of the House Labs Brow Pencils so far to me is the price point. Because with Anastasia Beverly Hills, I don't know when when the last time was that I paid full price on an ABH product because they are either always on sale or when it comes to brow products I always buy them around the holiday season because they have amazing kits um, then with so many products for like half the price or even less sometimes. I think the most successful products according to what I see on YouTube and on TikTok and Instagram are the cheek powder products. The bronzers, the highlighters, 
but most importantly, the blushes. These came out this year in February and I'm 100% sure that every other favorites of the makeup of 2023 videos that will be coming out in December, you will have these blushes because they, they are actually the reason why I ordered the very first time on the House Labs website because I just wanted to see if they are really that good. We're going to talk about them in a minute, but let's apply a bronzer contour. And I'm using the Powder Scalp Velvet Bronzer, and I decided to go for shade two. Usually I am a shade one person, but shade one was a bit warmer, and shade two is a wonderful, cool toned, like contour bronzer mix. I use my beloved NARS Ida brush. The texture of the bronzers is different to the texture that you will find in the, brush, uh, in the blushes. I think the bronzers are not as smooth. I have five out of the six shades. I skipped the peach shade because I'm not a peach blush girl. So let me just take you through these blushes. I have no idea in what order they will come, so this is no like shade preference order. We're just going to look at all of them. The first one, and I actually I accidentally grabbed the newest one, this is Lavender Blonde. Isn't this the most amazing, cool toned, light purple blush you've ever seen? I have nothing in my collection that can compete with this. I do have purple blushes like that, but none of them look as good as this. And we have Hibiscus Haze. This is a more intense mauve shade in my opinion, like this is mauve on crack. Now we have the one that kind of was a bit intimidating to me, but it is Acai Sky. It looks like a dark watermelon. I love this blush. This looks so gorgeous on fair skin as mine, but this is also probably beautiful on darker skin. It's, it's such a good blush. Now we have the blush that actually piqued my interest first because I'm a lover of the Dior Rosy Glow blush that everybody loves, that went, went viral, viral, that went viral. And this is Dragon Fruit Days. Mm, this is so gorgeous. This is one of the most intense neon pinks. And last but not least, this is actually watermelon because this is watermelon bliss. Um, I agree, but I think this is more like a fresh summer watermelon, while Acai Sky to me is more of a, I don't know, fall watermelon. That does not even exist, but in my head it makes sense. I think I will stick today with Lavender Blonde. This is such a wonderful blush. I think Lavender Lilac Purple Blushes really have its moment currently. And I'm not mad about that. Of all of those shades, there is none where I would say, yeah, I, I bought it because I want to have all of them, but I don't use it as much. I use them equally often. Again, I'm not a peach girl, so that's why I skipped the peach. But if you love peach blushes, I highly recommend go into the House Labs ones. Very new to my collection are actually the highlighters, and I could not decide what shade to get, so I got the shades <laughs> Moonstone, which is... That's intense. And I also got the shade Sunstone. Let's go with Moonstone today. I personally am not a fan of the texture of these highlighters because I feel like the distribution of color on your brush is very uneven because of these bumpy textures, even though it looks really nice in the pan. Let me apply this. These are very intense highlighters. They truly are. My friend Danielle from Fedora Beauty on Instagram, she recommended that I look into the Amethyst shade. I think it's called Pink Amethyst. And maybe when I will order the concealer, I'm planning to pick up the concealer, the brush, and maybe a third of these in the Pink Ameth Amethyst shade. But I'm not too sure because the, the swatches online look a bit too dark. But these also look very different to what I've seen on the website. One of the biggest critique uh, points in the complexion powder products was always the price. So the bronzer retails for $42.95, the highlighter for $45.95, and the blush is also $42.95. So blush and bronzer are the same pricing, 
but the highlighter is a bit more expensive. With the highlighter, I don't understand why, but as for the bronzers and for the blushes, they are pricey. They are luxury priced. Let me just say that. But you get so much product. You get 11 grams of product in a powder blush and 12 grams in the powder bronzer. Like, just, just for comparison. Your Rosy Glow blushes. These retail also for 40, 45 euro and you get 4.4 grams. Hourglass blushes retail in the same price region. You get... 4.2 grams. Richie blushes are over 50 euro each. 5.5 grams. So if you do the math, the House Labs blushes are actually really good priced for what you get. I wish they would come out with a setting spray. That would be a banging product. So therefore we were setting the makeup with the Charlotte Tilbury one. And the last product I want to talk about house labs that I have are four of the new lip crayons. And yes, I say new because the lip crayons itself have been around probably, I think since the launch of the brand even, but they were in like really bold colors. And they very recently added, I don't know, like six or seven more nudie shades. And I really love this. These are matte lip pencils like, like crayon lipsticks things the lipsticks in the crayon form like I even love the packaging because it looks like a ballpoint pen so far out of these I have used the these two shades these are mauve matte and light peony matte and for this look I want to use the rose matte shade um I'm a bit surprised that people are criticizing the size and the price of the blushes but are not criticizing these. I mean, these retail for 25 euro and you get 1.4 grams of product. Just to compare a Rare Beauty lipstick, they retail for around the 20-ish um, thing, but you get 3.5 grams of lipstick. We have a Dior lipstick. These retail for around 40 euro and you get 3.2 grams. Or the Natasha Denona lipsticks that are also around the 30-40 euro thing, but they retail they have 3.5 grams of product. So these are when you again do the math by grams that you get, way more expensive than Dior. But now let's just apply this color. They are so creamy and easy to apply. It's it's just stunning. And even though they are matte they do not feel super dry so i do have dry patches on my upper lip but you can't even see them because they definitely feel more of like a lip balm thing they will dry down a bit but they're not like those transfer proof drying matte lipsticks they are very comfortable to wear formula actually the formula reminds me a lot of the natasha denona my dream lipstick that i have they are very similar in the feeling and in the wear time so now that I've applied all of the makeup that I own from House Labs, um, I want to talk to you about the Born This Way Foundation. So this is basically a non-profit organization that Lady Gaga and her mother raised, um, founded in 2012 already to raise mental health awareness through donations from one dollar of every paid action on the House Labs official website. I love that. They are able to do something good. And they are able to donate money and a dollar of every single purchase does not sound much but again a dollar is better than zero and i think that dollar from every purchase that is just that is probably the most minimal part of the money that goes into that foundation but i can imagine that lady gaga herself is probably doing a lot of like private donations towards her own charity because mental health is just a thing that she seems to care a lot for. All right, that is it for this brand review. And to be honest, my face looks gorgeous. I feel fabulous. I wanted to do a Lady Gaga music reference now, but I know that her song Born This Way starts with some of those words, but I I just don't know the lyrics, so we are not doing this, but just me telling you about 
about the thought process is maybe doing the trick. And now tell me please, do you have anything from House Labs? Is this a brand that you're interested in? Are there upcoming releases something you kind of shit your pants over like I did when I saw that they have uh, now this concealer planned? I already was on the website and, and chose the shades that I will wear and that I will buy because I want to pick up two. They have a little card where you can see like when you are this shade in the foundation then you need this shade of concealer to match it or this shade of concealer to brighten and I'm a bit confused because in my where it is 040T, 040, it says that the matching concealer will be shade 1 and if I need a concealer to brighten I should buy the foundation in the shade 000 which is basically white. So tell me in the comments down below how do you feel about the brand and you know like subscribe comment the shit YouTube no Instagram and TikTok and I will see you in the next one.